Hello guys. Okay, today we're going to be talking about whatever we want and we'll figure it out because this is the kind of opinionated podcast. Um yeah, here here we go. Let's look up on Google what is the most talked about thing people are talking about right now. What's the most talked about thing people are talking about talking about okay so what are the most common topics people talk about let's see um okay so we have themselves Oopsie doopsie, just went a little close to the mic. Um, okay, themselves, relationships, food, jobs, and school. We'll start with myself, because you guys don't really know me. Um, my name's Luke, and, um, I'm kind of opinionated. So, like any stable person, I created a podcast. Um, you know, personal problems. Let's see, my personal problems, uh, you know, I'm (laughs) left-handed, that's it, okay, relationships, who's creating, oh wait, no, 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 who's cheating, who's not, who's in love, who's pretending to be in love, um, I don't know, that's a good, good question, Don't really have a top stance on that question. Okay, food. Food is good. Okay, uh, I just had breakfast for dinner. Um, bacon and chocolate chip pancakes. Pretty epic. Um, so, I mean, we usually get takeout. But, well, for, like, 2019, we usually got takeout. And that's because, um... That's be that's because we just were super busy and that was the fastest thing we could do. Uh, but now we're not really that busy and we want to go to New York, and um, we're all so excited to go to New York. So we're cutting back on the food costs and like like you know like the fast food costs and and we're making our own food. So hopefully that that turns out well. Um. Jobs, okay, <laughs> funny thing, I don't have a job, um, a little too young for, th- I'm, I'm not too young for that, I mean, I, I could work, but, but, no, no, cause I'm in school, right, so I can't, I can't do, th- I, I'm, I'm not in a job, I'm not like, technically in a job, but like, school is like a job, um, school is the next one. How is it, um, how it, well, how it is, that's what it says. How it is, how, wait, how it has the ability to be born expensive in eight hour waste of time in no particular order. Well, you know, it's not a waste of money because, um, go to public school. Public school, so much fun. Okay, um, so yeah, that was... Um, that was that. So now I guess you guys know a little bit about me. Um, let's look on some other stuff people are talking about currently. I think, um, things are very important. Um, and interesting topics to talk about with friends because I have many of them. Many of, of friends, you know, happens. Oh, goodness. Um, my mother just texted me. I have to answer this. If you ex- if you dare excuse me. Um, that was going to be a no. No, thank you. Okay. It's good. Okay, 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 okay. I am back. I am back with a fiery passion. Okay. Okay, so it's 
Are you making a YouTube video? No, I'm not making a YouTube video. Uh, no, I'm not. Thanks for asking, though, Mom. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, first, first question is very spicy. Um, it is love. A whole bunch of topics about love. Um, is love dependent on another? I don't know. Uh, is love solely uh, biochemical or response to specific measurable sets of stimuli? I don't know what that means. I'm not going to pretend like I know what that means. Is love a choice? Okay. Okay. Physical. Oh, goodness. Okay. Physicology. No, psychology. I, I almost looked stupid there for a second for a hot minute. Um, okay. Nat nature and nurture. Who plays the biggest role? I don't know. I don't know what. I know what nature is. Uh, nurture. Let's look up what nurture is. To the Google I go. Nurture. Question mark. Um. Okay. It's care for. Um. It's care for. In, in a court. In, uh, in court. In I don't know. Okay. The process of caring for and encouraging the growth of development or of someone or something. Let's see. I don't know. It's a, it's a very nice question we got there. Um, I would say nurture just because I feel like that plays a significant role in who I am today and, um, and who people are. Okay. Why do some people enjoy things that you really dislike? Uh, okay. Um, I mean, some people dislike, I mean, uh, I have pretty likable things. Oh, I have one. People, like, uh, yeah, like, people do and I hate, um, I don't like football. Like, I like watching it, but I feel like playing it wouldn't be that fun. You know? Like, I I don't know. I I mean, tack... Like, I, I wouldn't like to be tackled, you know? It doesn't seem... Doesn't, doesn't seem fun. Doesn't seem fun. What are you most proud of and why? I don't know. Good question. Uh, do you think you make good decisions? decisions absolutely i feel like i make fantastic decisions maybe the best decisions that anyone's ever made quite possibly just the best decisions ever in in the universe um okay let's moving on morality and ethics okay this is gonna be fun I'm gonna get all all sad maybe What's right and what's wrong? Good, good or evil? Morally acceptable, acceptable or morally outrageous? Oh, spicy. Okay. Why is it so easy to overlook the mass suffering suffering in the world? What? Why is it so easy to overlook the mass suffering in the world? Oh, I get it. Like, people, like, people suffering? Because, like, why is it... I think a lot of people have the mindset, well, it's not affecting me, so, I mean, what are you gonna do about it, you know? And I think that mindset's kind of, um, unhealthy, and I, I don't think that that would be, um, a good mindset to have just because, you know, if, like, if something isn't affecting you, it should it's something, it, it should still matter. For example, global warming, okay? Global warming exists. I'm, like, I'm pretty positive it exists. Like, come on. So, so people saying, well, it's not really affecting me. So, well, like, it's not going to kill me. It's just going up by, like, maybe a half a degree or whatever um, every four years. It's not really affecting me. Well, 
sure, but it's going to affect your future grandkids and, like, so on and so forth. So, shouldn't you matter? Okay, anyhow, I could go on that topic for, like, a day. Okay. If it were guaranteed to reduce violent crime by 30%, should everyone have to give a DNA sample to the police? What if it were 80%? So, like... I'm wondering what they're asking, like, if, if, like, it was guaranteed. So, if I gave, like, an ancestry spit thing to the police and they gave me back all my relatives, <laughs> uh, if they gave me back all my relatives, right? I'd be like, I think I'd be fine with it because, like, what are they going to do with I I mean, they might clone me, but that would be kind of cool, not going to lie. Like, a clone? Who wouldn't want a clone? I know, I want a clone. Clone seems epic. Okay, anyhow. Um, like, I, yeah, okay, cool. Two parents decide to raise their son as a girl, or vice versa. Should they be allowed to, if it will cause the child identity issues when they are older? I don't know. Um, that's kind of a tricky question. I feel like that's kind of, I would say that's, I don't know. I, I have no clue. It's like, I mean, I can see where people are coming from, where they're like, hey, that's going to destroy the um, the kid's gender identity, and like, you know what I mean? And then I say on the other hand, it's like, oh, it's the parent's decision. They, The parents can do whatever they want, um, you know, so whatever. We'll figure. I, I don't know. Okay, next one. This is going to be our last philosophy one. Is it, or ethics is it ever just is it ever just to sacrifice the life of an innocent person in order to save the five lives of innocent people what if taking one life would save a hundred lives is the decision made easier if the person being sacrificed were a convicted murder would it be more willing to sacrifice an adult than it would be to sacrifice a baby would you sacrifice your own life Oh my goodness. Well, this is going to be a, a tricky subject, but we're just going to talk about this because this seems like a cool thing to talk about. Okay. Okay, This isn't this the trolley problem? The trolley problem. Okay. So, okay. So, if I was on a car, okay? It, not on a car. If I was driving, okay? I was driving a car, and it was a super fast car, and I couldn't speed down. I mean, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I couldn't press on the brake. Um, and it was 100 people on the right thing and one person on the left, on the left road. Um, but on the left road, it was my grandmother. And on 100 lives, it was all the people I desperately hate. I don't know. Because I love my grandma. Um, <laughs> but... I, I feel like, and if, like, or if the one person was, like, your just-born baby sister brother, I mean, would it be just to do that? I, I mean, to kill, to, I mean, to hit, to, like, drive over the one person you, like, absolutely love and not the hundred people you, you absolutely hate. Um, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'd probably, to be honest, I, I probably, if I saw my grandma, and in the heat of the situation, and, well, if I was able to sacrifice myself, I would do that in a heartbeat, to be honest with you, because, like, 101 people versus one person, I don't know, man, I'd, I'd sacrifice myself, because, because, like, I'm in, like, I feel like, like, I'm important, right? But, I mean, a hundred, those a hundred people have the capacity to do, like, thousands of magnificent things. And even if I hate them, it doesn't matter. They still can become the next Albert Einstein. Um, what am I going to do about it? Um, so if I was able to sacrifice my own life, I'd do that. That's my de decision. Okay, Next thing, belief systems. Oh, this is going to be something else. 
uh, what do you believe? What? Uh, why do you believe what you believe to be true? Like, are they asking like what? Oh, I feel like okay. So they're asking me what I believe in. Um, I I believe I believe in God. I believe in Christian God. Um, yeah. Why do I believe it's true? I mean, I mean, um, so I've doubted. I, I've, I'm a doubter. So I've doubted my religion. I feel like if you don't doubt your religion, then, like, you don't really have that much. Like, you have faith in your religion, sure. But if you don't doubt your religion, I mean, then is it, like, is it just, is it actually a religion? Or is it just something that your parents made you believe? I don't know, man, but I've doubted my religion, and I came um, with the idea that um, that I, I believe in that, and I think, like, my mind still can be changed. I still can, I like, if I, if I woke up tomorrow, and I saw that it was just, if there was a clear revelation that something, that something, um, that something, um, something magnificent, something like a action, like a, like a, um, a proof of a religion, um, came up. I, I would believe in that because it's a proof. Um, okay. Is atheism a form of religion? Yes, because you have to have faith in atheism. You even have to have faith in the Big Bang. Uh, you can have evidence, you know, but, um, you still have to, like, you can't, there's no way to actually, like, well, at least we don't have any proof to actually, like, 100% accurate proof to prove that there's a Big Bang, so you have to have faith in, um, the Big Bang, or in evolution, or in whatever you have, um, yeah. Should we look after our own well-beings, or should we look after each other? Each other. That's a that's a um, clear question. Um, because, yeah, I think that's a clear question. I think that's a clear. I think that's a question, and there's a clear answer. We should look after each other. Because, for example, if I was in a room of uh, twenty one per- people, I uh, know if I was in the group of twenty people, and I was also in there, um, and. And everybody was sick, and I wasn't. And they were like, they were like, oh, you're going to get sick. What am I going to do? Just r-? Like, some people probably would run away and get out of there because they don't want to get sick. They want to get this deadly disease. But I feel like for the well-being of other people, you should, like, care for them, and you should help them heal, you know? I feel like that's our duty. <laughs> duty. Uh, but anyhow, um... Do, do you believe man is inherently good? Oh, I love this question. I absolutely love this question. So, actually, I believe that man is inherently whatever it is. <laughs> because, for example, when you're born, you're basically like clay, okay? And your parents sculpt you. They sculpt you into, like, whoever you are. So, for example, if I was born into whoever... And they were a horrible person, right? I would become that horrible person. If I was born in a place, like, like, yeah. Like, if I was born as a horrible per, like, if I was born into a family of, for example, like, if I was born into the family of, um, Prince, uh, of, like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I lost my thought. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Do you believe intelligent life exists on uh, beyond this planet? I'm open to believe that. But I don't know. Does the government... How is this still religion? Is this still belief system? Religion? Okay, whatever. Does government have too much or little to say over what we weigh, what we do in our lives? I don't know. I mean, in some places, totally. Like, there's, there's a massive... Um, there's big, like... Like, the government has probably too much to say in some places. But I I feel in America and even in um, first world countries, uh, is that that the correct term? I don't want to be stupid. First world, even in first world. Okay, I want to make sure. Yeah, okay, so 
even in first world countries, well, most first world countries. So, United States, Canada, just off the top of my head, uh, United States, Canada, Australia, I think, maybe. Um, yeah, in Western Europe for the most part, I think. Um, I think that most of them don't have, um, the government doesn't have too much to say, but I mean, I'm, I'm open to change my opinion on that thing. Um, because I don't really have a stance on that, you know? Okay, I think our final, not our final podcast, but our first podcast is done for the, done for the day. Um, uh, if you, if you enjoyed, please press subscribe or follow or whatever you're listening to this on. Give it a, give it a heart, give it, uh, whatever. And, you know, I look forward to doing more podcasts. I feel like this, this has been fun. Um, I feel like I'm opinionated. I'm opinionated, opinionated about a lot of things. Uh, leave, leave questions, leave questions below on what I should talk about next, on questions you think I would have this opinion on, and I'm, you might be surprised that I might have this opinion on something else that you probably thought I was going to have opinion on, blah, blah, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Goodbye, guys. (laughs) Have a fantastic rest of your night, day, evening, whatever. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. This, yeah. Okay, bye. Bye Bye-bye. Adios. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now.